Hey everyone, this is Kirsten and Josh from Love and Livin' RV and coming to you from a blustery California. Yeah, we uh, are in, uh, well, we're just outside of Joshua Tree National Park um, between, I don't know, Blythe, I guess, mm -hmm. and Coachella. Uh, we're on the south side of uh, Joshua Tree National Park. We arrived yesterday or the day before? Day before. The day yeah, before. day before. Um, so we've been here. This will be our second night here. We're boondocking outside the um, the entrance e the to the east park. Entrance. No, south. South entrance. South Excuse entrance. Me. So um, it's a 14-day BLM uh, camping area. So you can stay up to 14 days for free. And then uh, our plan was to go do day trips into the park here, um, camp for free outside, go do day trips in. We did take a drive into uh, the park yesterday and went to uh, Cottonwood Campground, which is on the south side of Joshua Tree. Just checked it out and the sites were, I'm glad we did before we went into the park because the sites were extremely small. For as much as you have to pay for them, the sites are very compact and at least out here boondocking, we have a little bit more room to ourselves. It's a lot busier boondocking spot than where we were in Quartzsite last week or for the last 14 days, but uh, we're still, it's not so confined like better than being in, there. in that particular campground because it was just super tight it was 20 bucks a night for dry camping uh, they did have bathrooms there and garbage service and i think they had water too and a dump station but no hookups 20 bucks a night so we just figured eh, we'll just stay outside the park for free and then we've got our national parks pass so we can drive into the park and check it out too but um we had some problems on the way here when we left quartzsite uh, on Saturday, Josh started the car. We were pulling out of our campsite and the uh, battery light wouldn't go off. So as soon as I started the truck, the uh, check battery indicator came on and I looked down at the uh, voltage gauge on the truck and it was only showing about nine or 10 volts charging from the alternator. So which- Not good. Yeah, not good because we were leaving and we had about a hundred mile uh, trip to get here. And so I was really concerned and we were hooked up of course with the trailer. Um, so I was super concerned that it was gonna leave us stranded somewhere. Uh, you know, pretty certain it's the alternator um, causing the problem. So we started getting on the phone, calling auto parts places and- And luckily here at this boondocking spot, we have internet connection. Unlike if you went inside the park, there's no phone or internet. So we're very lucky to have found this spot with cell, cell phones. Yeah, we both have cell reception with, she's got AT&T and I've got Verizon. So it's kind of nice having two different carriers sometimes Hi, because if one doesn't have reception, the other one might. So, oh, he's not liking that. Hi, Bean. They wanted to come over and say hi, but he was gonna knock over the camera, so. Um, so anyway, so we've got, we finally picked up a new alternator today for the truck from Napa and uh, I'm going to uh, install that We're tomorrow. We're going to install that tomorrow. We're, I'm, your right, I'm your right hand chick. Kirsten's going to install the alternator tomorrow while I watch. <laughs> no, and, I'm going to um, assist. And hopefully that should take care of the truck. Luckily it hasn't left us stranded. Um, it started working again. Um, but today when we left, it was a, it's a, from where we're parked at to the nearest town with services, it's about 25 miles one way. So 50 mile round trip to go out there and back. And, uh, so we had to order the alternator. They wouldn't let us pay for it over the phone. We had to come in in person to pay for it. They didn't have it in stock. So we had to order the alternator, go into town, pay for it. And then today we drove, drove back. back to pick it up once it came in. And uh, what a what a nightmare! But now we have the part that we need. Uh, now it's just a matter of getting it installed. So, um, so besides that, for uh, last night we slept with the uh, slide out pulled in because we have a um, a topper over our our slide out that if we don't pull it in, we worry about it all night that it's gonna pull off and rip and. Yeah. fly away with the uh the wind the got, hurricane force winds that we're having out here the wind got really bad last night uh, i think the forecast set up to 50 mile an hour gusts with 20 to 30 mile an hour steady wind and uh we were rocking and rolling and we could hear the topper flapping around so we were just concerned that it was gonna get torn off of our slide out so we brought the slide out in which 
is a real pain on this particular trailer because it blocks the bathroom. When the, when the slide's in, you can't access the bathroom. Um, which sucks. Which is a real problem when you need to go potty. And it's not a good idea to sit there and move the slide in and out, in and out to get back and forth to the bathroom. And so. thank goodness for the full moon last night because I did use the... The facilities outside <laughs> yeah it was a full moon uh last night uh which was cool uh neat to see but so we're just gonna kind of hunker down here and uh um, we, we, from here on saturday we leave and we go towards san bernardino uh visit some of josh's uh family and we're also going to a um i'm a lance dealer to get some hopefully hopefully warranty work done on the trailer yeah we've got an appointment to get some warranty work done our uh one year mark warranty that we got with this trailer it was brand new when we bought it uh expires uh like mid-february and so we're not going to be back to our hometown before then so we had to try to squeeze in somewhere else that can hopefully uh do the work uh, obviously we're staying in the trailer so uh, if they need it more than a day, uh, we'll probably bring it back the next day. I, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. It's, it's an interesting uh, balancing act here, especially when things break on the road. Um, you know, you've got a vehicle and then you've got your trailer and things can go wrong with either one that could leave you stuck. You know, And if the truck possibly. breaks down, we don't have any way of getting anywhere to get parts. So we were yeah. just talking about that today. It's kind of hard, you know, without... A second vehicle yeah we were so used to having we had three vehicles when we lived in our house back in Oregon and uh, you know which I mean, the reason to do this is downsize but it's also nice to have an extra vehicle to be able to go take care of items if need be maintenance like a broken alternator that could possibly be stranded on the side of the road with the trailer hooked up and you know I mean so many different things but um, yeah, so we're gonna change the alternator out tomorrow and hopefully get the truck. I mean, the truck's still working, we're still driving it, but it could that alternator could stop again at any time and, and leave us stuck somewhere. So we wanna, we wanna get that addressed right away. Um, so hopefully we don't blow away tonight with this wind. It's um, supposed to get worse before it gets better. It's supposed to start calming down Thursday, Friday. So yeah, today. hopefully we get some sleep because Last night was not fun. Yeah, we didn't. And the cats were scared, and so they were like at our heads, and I was stressed because I just kept thinking of me being Dorothy and flying away with Toto. And yeah, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that's the that's the slide out top her flapping in the wind. We did put a uh, uh, pool noodle that we wrapped a towel around in between the the slide out, which is right here. This is our slide out. Um, and the topper so it kind of fills that space in so it doesn't have as much room to move um, And it does help for sure. It helps keep it from flapping and making near as much noise, but um, Yeah, so That's where we are and Anything else? Okay. Fingers crossed we get the uh, alternator uh, Fixed tomorrow send good vibes send vibes to slow down the wind so it's not so it's kind of it's bearable outside when we're out there yeah it's i mean with the wind as bad as it is it's hard to even be outside it's cold that's why i've got a hat on um it, it's cold out there it's weird because we're in the desert but it can get chilly if that wind's kicking up and it's getting dark and whatnot but uh this is a nice area when we showed up here um there was plenty of parking um quite a few people have come in since then and uh you know kind of uh but there's big rigs here there's class a's there's big fifth wheels here can get a little sandy so you got to be careful of the pullouts um here but we didn't have any problem we found a spot right away and uh got parked and yeah and it wasn't windy when we showed up which was nice it was a little deceiving we might have left <laughs> yeah if it was as windy as it was today we we probably would have left and went and found a different spot because when we went into town into coachella uh this afternoon the wind you yeah, had to go pick up our part the wind wasn't near as bad i mean not even close so um kirsten and i have both kind of uh uh as, as far as the experiences we've had in california so far none of them have been very positive 
And so we've kind of got a bad taste in our mouth with California. We didn't really care for California that much to begin with. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some beautiful places here. Tons of national parks. We're on the south end of California near the border. Um, so you get a lot of uh, Hispanics uh, here, especially in the area that we were at. It's a big like farming area, I guess. And um, I mean, we were pretty much, when we went grocery shopping, we were pretty much the only white people in the entire grocery store. They Every, don't sell everything raisin. was in Spanish. Yeah, they don't sell raisin bran. Raisin bran. I don't know. I guess uh, <laughs> oh, uh, no. Spanish don't eat raisin bran. I don't know. We were trying to find cereal. They don't sell old El Paso. <laughs> refried beans either which i guess that, that's that's probably like corona to them or something you know it's just it's crap it's gross but anyways so we're gonna work on the alternator tomorrow and hopefully uh hopefully get, get into joshua tree or yeah we, we've been real cautious with how much we've been driving the truck just because the possibility of it leaving us stranded if that alternator failed uh, which it's intermittent right now. So it's working, but it, it could stop at any any minute. And there's some landmarks in there I really want to go see. So yeah. wish us luck, send us good vibes, and uh, yeah. Yeah. And just pray that we don't blow away. <laughs> so, All right, well, thanks. Next time. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.